welcome to the second edition of this um, uh, EV conversion that we're doing as you can see now that the engine is out and uh, I've given it a, a bit of a water wash but I realized I had to degrease it we've degreased it now and we're ready to wash the gearbox and uh, just the engine bay and everything and once we've done that then we're going to pack the car back in and then we're going to um, get the um, you know motor out and the adapter out and stuff like that and uh, start putting it together so this is as you know uh, this is the second edition um, you know we've just got this far since the last video Installment of the video that, um, of, of our EV conversion. As you can see over here, um, you know I have just uh, stripped the um, engine and cleaned the bay. And uh, you know now, you know as you can see, I mean you know if you can look over here, remove all the grease as much as we can. And um, you know the, I had to really hose this down with uh, you know some uh, some of the degreaser. And um, as I was removing the engine, I left the gearbox on. Whilst I was removing, I just damaged this uh, CV uh, cover. We're going to install a new one later on. But currently at this stage, we are instead interested in putting the, the engine in the gearbox. As you can see, the spline over here, the spline was a lot longer. I had to cut this. And so everything fits in properly. Now, coming back over here, see, this is our engine. Yeah see these scratches over here it's because I dropped the engine a couple of times it's best not to do that um, and also I uh, had this adapter plate made by Jeff in Sydney and um, you know Jeff brought this down he brought the adapter plate down the motor down 
and also all of this Jeff, made by Jeff in Sydney. Now, coming over here, see this is the clutch plate. So this part is mounted onto the onto the spline of the uh, the motor, and there's a couple of bolts holding, um, tightening the spline. So you know this stays strong over here. And on top of this, we put the clutch plate, and the clutch plate. Is now uh, bolted onto uh, this hub over here. Now, whilst we're doing that from the gearbox, we remove those little pipes which actually um, hold the gearbox in place, and then we put the existing bolts on. Um, and once that is done, uh, the engine is um, the, the motor is already on the gearbox. Now, we're going to. Now, I had I had to. Yesterday I put this on and checked that everything fits and it does fit so we had to remove it and then we tighten everything and now that it's all tightened and ready to go in, once it's done we will show you what